Hi, this is David from Pay It Forward. In this video, we're going to talk about how to set up your AirPods with your Mac. Now, if you're like me, you just got your AirPods in the mail, you just connected them to your iPhone, the process was quick and easy, everything is hunky-dory. Uh, you may know that, because uh, Apple promoted this a lot, that your AirPods are supposed to automatically connect to your Mac uh, using your iCloud account, which is one of the cool features. So as long as you're signed in on your other devices with iCloud, they should just automatically connect and everything's good to go. So. Uh, let's just assume that uh, everything's good to go right from the bat, like Apple says it will be. So I have my AirPods in, I go to listen to music on my Mac, and guess what? They're not, it's not playing through my AirPods. Um, big surprise. So uh, first things first, so what I did is I went to Apple.com, I actually went to Google and I Googled uh, how to set up your AirPods. I ended up on Apple.com's support article. And I figured that's a good place for us to start, just so we can follow their directions and see how far we get before we realize they're not very good. Okay, so let's go down to uh, use your AirPods. I've already set them up using my iPhone. Now listen with your AirPods. Um, take them out of the case, they're on, ready to use. When you put them in your ears, your AirPods automatically play the audio from your device. If you take, et cetera, this is all great, it's all perfect. Now I have my AirPods in right now, so I'll be able to tell you whether or not it's playing through the AirPods. Uh, so let's go ahead and play some music on my Mac. Now a lot of people, uh, I'm going to use iTunes, of course, uh, but a lot of people go down here to the menu bar. Let's just make this a teachable moment for a second. Spotlight is the uh, search function on a Mac and it's the coolest thing ever. Uh, everybody should know how to use it. Um, the way that most people open Spotlight is they click in the, um, on the magnifying glass in the upper right hand corner of the screen and that opens Spotlight search. Uh, what you may not realize is that you can use Spotlight to find any file or, or image on your computer, but you can also use it to open programs. And to be honest, that's probably what I use it to do the most, is to open programs. It also searches your mail and music and videos. It's wonderful. So uh, the way that most people open it, as I said, is they look in the upper right-hand corner of the screen, they tap on the magnifying glass, and there you go. Uh, what I'm going to do is a step better than that, and that's what I want you to do, is uh, hold the command key on your keyboard, it's the one right to the left of the space bar, and as you're holding that, then tap the space bar, and Spotlight opens up. That's the shortcut to open Spotlight, and it makes everything a lot easier. Now, I want to open iTunes. I'm just going to start typing the first few letters of iTunes. Sure enough, iTunes comes up at the top. Now, a lot of people think you have to click on iTunes, and it gets kind of clunky. You don't. All you have to do is hit the return key, and iTunes opens up. Now, that took a little bit of uh, time to walk through that process. Let me show you how quickly you can use Spotlight to open iTunes once you get the hang of it. Done. So that's why I use Spotlight to open programs. You could do it in less than a second. Coming back to the AirPods article, let's try to listen to some music. I'm just going to hit the play button. Let's see what we get. Julia Michaels, Issues. Now, I've never heard this song. Uh, and I can't hear it now either because it's not playing through my AirPods. So, big surprise, let's put it on pause. All right, let's just make sure it wasn't just Julia. Maybe we'll listen to some Bruce. Oh, born in the USA, well, Apple AirPods are designed in the USA, but they're not playing music in the USA or anywhere else. So let's head back to uh, Safari to follow the instructions here and see where we went wrong. Okay. Follow these steps to use your AirPods to play audio from a different device or to switch the audio to a different to different headphones or speakers. On your uh, iOS device, so that's how to do it on your uh, iPhone, okay, but on your Mac, click the speaker icon in the menu bar and then choose your AirPods or other speakers under output device. AirPods appear only when they're nearby and ready to use. So that's all we have to do, right? So we're going to go up to the menu bar to click the speaker. But before we do that, one of the requirements for using your AirPods with your Mac is that your Mac has to be running Mac OS Sierra. Uh, if you're not sure that you are, uh, the way you can find out is to click on the Apple icon in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, and then click About This Mac. If you see Mac OS Sierra in the uh, middle of the screen, then you're running Sierra. If you don't see that, if you see El Capitan or a different uh, version, you can close this window and then click the Apple menu and open App Store. And then you can download it for free in the App Store. It takes a while uh, to download a new version of OS X, but uh, that's how you do it. Anyway, I'm betting that most of the people listening to this uh, video and watching the video have OS X Sierra installed. Uh, if you don't, however, it's time to go to the App Store and download it. It's free. It's worth it. Do it. Um, so back to this article. 
On your Mac, click the uh, speaker, my, okay, easy. Click the speaker icon in the menu bar and choose your AirPods. Now, if I look up in the menu bar, and this is a default install of OS uh, 10 Sierra. I haven't changed it in any way, uh, except to install the program that I use to record this, uh, this video. Uh, and I'm looking for the, uh, the, the speaker icon, and it's not there. So Apple's uh, support article has let us down because its only instruction tells us to do something that does not exist by default in the operating system that they make. Uh, fortunately for you, I know how to get that speaker bar to appear up there. So in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, I'm going to show you how to do it too, obviously. Um, this is not just me bragging. So there, uh, we have to go to System Preferences. System Preferences is how we change settings uh, that affect your entire Mac. Uh, if it's something that needs to go up in the menu bar, the menu bar appears uh, in every application on your Mac, so we're going to go to System Preferences, as opposed to the preferences um, that you'll find uh, in Safari or Mail or any other program that just affect the settings in that specific program. So uh, there's a few ways to get there. Now, one of the ways is to click the Apple menu in the upper left-hand corner of the screen and then click System Preferences. That's probably the easiest way for most people, but I'm going to use my favorite way to do it, which is Open Spotlight, and do it that way. So if I hold the Command key and hit Spacebar, I get the Spotlight search window, and then I can just type System. Oh, it's already suggesting that, and I can hit Return. Now, I'm just going to quit that, and let's just do a little race to see who can open it faster. You doing it your way or me using Spotlight. Okay, ready, set, go. I win. Okay, that's why you should use Spotlight to open programs on your Mac and other things. Remember, Command Space uh, opens it, and then just start typing the name of it. When, you, when it appears at the top, hit the Return key, and the app will open. And your friends will be wowed, which is really the most important part. Um, so let's see. We want to make the... We want to follow their instructions, and we want to make this speaker icon appear in the top of your screen. So I'm just going to drag this over here. The way we need to make the speaker icon appear uh, is we have to open sound under system preferences. So it's in the second row down on the right hand side, click sound. And then on the very bottom of the sound display, on the sound preference pane, uh, make sure that you click or, or check the box next to show volume in menu bar. Okay? And as soon as that box is checked in blue, you can look in the upper right hand corner of the screen and sure enough, there's the speaker icon that they tell you to use. Now it should just be, let's just, okay, click, so on your Mac, let's go back to the instructions. Now that we actually have the speaker, it says click speaker in the menu bar and choose your AirPods or other speakers under output device. All right, so that's what we're going to do because we've hooked them up correctly and a big surprise, they're not there. So the uh, Apple instructions have once again let us down. It's not personal, it's just that they're terrible. Uh, what we're going to do, okay, so one of the things that you need to know uh, is that AirPods are Bluetooth devices, so we need to make sure that Bluetooth is on on the Mac. Uh, and we're actually going to go back to System Preferences to make sure that Bluetooth is set up, and we're going to turn on the Bluetooth uh, icon in the menu bar just so it can be up here and easily accessible, uh, just like the speaker icon. So let's open System Preferences again. I'm going to use Spotlight to do it. Now, if you're still in sound, uh, make sure you, you can click the upper the back arrow in the upper left hand corner of the sound window and then you'll go back to the main system preferences uh, pane, the window pane. Uh, now we're going to open Bluetooth because that's how your AirPods, your AirPods actually connect to your Mac. So it's in the third row down right about in the middle of the screen. Tap Bluetooth and now we see our first sign of light. It is David's AirPods. We can see them. They're not connected to, to my Mac. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to be able to access these devices quickly and not have to open system preferences every time I want to use my AirPods. So I'm going to tap Show Bluetooth in Menu Bar. And then you'll see up here in the upper uh, right-hand corner of the screen, I get a little Bluetooth icon, the B, and I also now have my speaker icon. So that's going to make my life a lot easier as a Mac user. Uh, I can actually you know, choose the output device like they say I'm supposed to be able to, and then I can also control the Bluetooth settings on my Mac. So at this point, I've done everything I need to do uh, with regard to system preferences so I can close it. Uh, what I should say is that uh, when Apple talks about all this great syncing with iCloud, what it's doing is it's syncing the uh, configuration of your AirPods to all your devices. So it's, it's just it's letting them show up on your Mac and on your iPod and on your iPhone and every device that you're signed in with your iCloud account. 
uh, your AirPods will show up there as an option to connect to. But when it comes to actually connecting to them to play music right now, uh, you need to actually make that choice and still tell your Mac, yes, I want to use this, the AirPods right now to listen to music. So I'm going to close uh, System Preferences. Uh, and the way I just did it now is different than I usually do, which is Command-Q. With System Preferences, you could also just tap the, uh, the red dot in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. But my habit is always just to click on System Preferences in the menu bar in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, and then scroll down to Quit System Preferences. All right, so now let's connect to our AirPods and hopefully get to listen to some good music. Um, so I'm going to tap the Bluetooth icon in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Now under Devices, I see David's AirPods, and I see Connect. I'm going to tap Connect. And I will wait. And they are connected to my Mac. I just heard the little, the little chime. So that's exactly what I had to do to make my AirPods connect to my Mac. All right, that's about all we, uh, we have for now. Uh, hopefully that helped you to get your AirPods set up with your Mac, uh, and you'll be good to go from now on. All right, thanks for watching our video. And make sure to check out our article if you have any trouble with your AirPods at all on payitforward.com. Bye-bye.